Welcome to Lab 2.7.6 Implementation of Basic Connectivity. I already have the lab open and first thing I'm going to notice is everything is locked so we can't really do a whole lot. Well that's just kind of to be expected so that's fine. So part one, perform a basic configuration of switch one and switch two to complete the following items. Configure switch one with a host name. Click on S1 and click CLI. CLI is selected. Tap enter a few times. We need to make sure we're in the correct mode, which is a global configuration to be able to change the host name. So enable to get us to our privilege exec mode, conf t to get us into our global configuration mode, and we'll do host name s1. So that step is done. Step two, use Cisco for a console and use class for the privilege exec mode. So we're going to do enable password class that takes care of 2b now we need to configure cisco for the console password so console is a line console 0 password we're going to use cisco do it at login and we should be good there. So we've done steps 2A and 2B that's taken care of. So now step three, verify the password configuration for S1. How can we verify both the passwords were configured correctly? Use an appropriate, and the next would be to use an appropriate banner. So how can we verify the passwords were used correctly? Well, we actually do not have a console port to the switch. And so we can't use some form of terminal because there is no console port. Normally, we'd be hooking up a console cable to verify, but I believe for this, they want us to actually check our enable password. So, end. I'm going to exit all the way out. And our enable password, again, going from our user to our privilege exec mode, is right here. So, we will do Cisco, and it lets us in. Enable, class, there we go. So this first one was our console. The second one was our user to privilege exec mode. So that's taken care of. Next, they want us to do this banner. So I'm going to go back to my switch. Get back to our global configuration. Banner MOTD, special character, paste the response, same special character. And that should be okay. It is not liking that, so I'm going to try a different special character. And I want to make sure that we're not doing extra spaces. Oh, M O T, oh, ah, fat fingered. That's message of the day. M-O-T-D, not D-T. There it goes. All right, so we've done 
3a and 3b. Let's go ahead and save our configuration. So we're going to go back to our exact mode, privilege exact mode, copy, run, start, and it is now saved. So step four is done. We're going to repeat the same steps on switch two. So switch two, enable, comp key. We want to go ahead and set the host name to switch two. We want to set the enable password to class. We want to configure our line console zero. We want to set the password to Cisco. We want it to happen at login. We want to set the banner, banner message of the day, pound, paste, pound. We want to save our configuration, so copy, run, start. All right, so we've done step one for switch two. We've done step two for switch two. We did step three for switch two. We did step four for switch two, so we are good. Next, configure PC1 and PC2 with the IP addresses. So PC1, IP configuration, 192.168.1.1. That's an appropriate subnet mask, so we're good there. PC2, we're going to do the same thing, 192.168.1.2, an appropriate subnet mask, so we're done there. So we've done this, we've clicked the desktop tab, we've done that, and we've done this, we repeated them. So now let's go ahead and let's test connectivity. So go to our command terminal. 192.168.1.2 and it works. So PC1 and PC2 can communicate. So test connectivity to the switches. So the switches are 253 and 254. So let's go ahead and check them. 253. Right now it should be seen in an ARP request. If the switches are configured with the uh, IP, it will respond. And it doesn't look like they are configured. So I'm going to assume the next step is to actually configure them. Let's double check. Switch to the first request timeout could just be an ARP request, so I'm not too concerned. But it times out three times, it's probably not configured, and it's not configured. All right, so were you successful? No, because they're not configured. So we need to configure these switches with. RIPs. These are called SVIs, Switch Virtual Interface. And we're going to be configuring these addresses. 192.168.1.253 with that subnet mask for switch 1 and 1.254 for switch 2. Here are the commands to do it. So we will do it on both switches. Interface VLAN 1 IP address 192.168.1.253 Appropriate subnet mask No shutdown, make sure the interface is turned on 
We're going to repeat the same steps for switch two. Comp T, interface VLAN one, IP address. They're shut down. All right, so let's try pinging them again. So we're pinging the SVI for switch one, timeout, and then it actually responds. We're gonna uh, ping PC from PC one to switch two. ARP request, so the first one times out, that's perfect. The rest respond, so communication does actually flow. So that's all good. We're gonna do, uh, we already did step two. We're gonna do some show commands to verify information. So hop back on switch one. Let's do, it wants us to do a show IP interface brief. And there is our VLAN interface and it's turned off uh, turned on and it's operating, so it's up. We could also do a show running config. Show run. And there is our VLAN 1 interface. Repeat the same steps on switch 2. Show IP in brief. There it is. Address and is operational. Show run. There is our VLAN 1. There is our IP address and it's operational. So we are good. So we need to go ahead and save the configuration again. Copy, run, start. Same thing on switch two. Copy, run, start. So test connectivity, which we've already done. Let's go ahead and ping them one more time just to make sure nothing has changed. 253, we get four responses. 254, we get four responses. And we should be done. That is the end of the lab. Go ahead and click check results to verify. And my check results shows Ah, see. This is what's really interesting. It said set password. It did not say set a secret, so those are both showing invalid. So we're only having 20 out of 22 correct. So let's go ahead and let's fix that. All right, so let's hop back on our switches. Get back to our global configuration. We want to do enable secret. And I believe we are doing this password. Yeah, I see it. Oh, and encrypt the privilege. See, I didn't see, well, I see the encrypt there, but it did not specifically state down here. It just said password, so. So enabled secret class, enable secret class because we already have the password set we're going to get a don't reuse the enabled the same password that's fine copy run start hop over to switch two and let's do the exact same thing comp t enable secret class Make sure to save it, copy, run, start. 
click results and let's verify. All right, assessment items, all are check marked. 22 out of 22. We don't have any connectivity tests, but that is our lab 2.7.6 implementing basic connectivity with two switches. If you have any questions or concerns, please reach out. Thank you.